In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the puzzle by entering its puzzle ID or the customer reference code. So let's try to find this puzzle. Order 7 Puzzle 1. Now we go to the home page. You see this box here? All you need to do is enter the puzzle ID, click Submit. And there you go. The second method to find the same puzzle is by using the customer reference number that the customer have entered when they place the order. Now let's go back to the home page again. Enter the customer reference code and click submit. There you go. Now let's see what happens when we have duplicate customer reference code in the puzzles. When there's duplicate, you will see a search engine and it will list out all the puzzles that have the same customer reference code. If you have been paying attention, you will notice that I did not log in when I was doing this puzzle tracking. This means anyone on the internet can type in the code and look at the tracking history of the puzzle. On this search engine page, to see the tracking history of the puzzle, all you need to do is click on the title of the puzzle. You enter the page that has the tracking history of the puzzle. This is the complete tracking history of the puzzle if you did not log in. If we scroll up the page, we can see this puzzle is created by the postpaid one account. So let's see what the tracking history shows when we log into the postpaid one account. We see a lot more information than we had just now because postpaid one account created this puzzle so he has the permission to see all the information he has entered to make sure it is correct. If we scroll down we can see there are more details in the puzzles update as well. We have upload date and time, transaction date and time. We can see who submitted the update or the tracking history. We can see the driver that's allocated to pick up the puzzle a schedule. We can see the location that's recorded when the status update is created. We can see the comments that the driver have wrote. If you scroll down, we can also see the signature that the driver have obtained when he delivered the puzzle. Obviously, if you are the administrator or the driver, you will have access to the same level of information as the person who have placed this order. If you created the puzzle on your account, there is another way you can find it. Let's scroll up all the way to the top. Go to My Puzzles. Here you can see a list of all the puzzles you have ordered on this account. And at the top, there is a filter you can use to quickly find your puzzle. Rather than going through the entire list, you can find it by using the order date. By typing in the puzzle name, if you know what it is. By searching using the customer reference number. or you can also use the status of the puzzle. 